today we're going to go over the uses of the inverter that are in the most of the Geo Pro series. Um, most of these are a thousand watt inverters, so that's what you're going to be doing this video on is when you want to use this inverter and when not to use this inverter and what it does when it runs. There are two different ways that your camp will be set up for the most part. You will either have your plugged in to the side at, with the uh, 20 or 30 amp setup where your all your all your plugs are on all the time. And in that case, you never want to have that inverter on. Never turn it on. The switch is in different places in some of the campers, but in the FD model, it's right up here. You want to have that off. There's no reason to have that on whenever you're plugged into shore power. Okay, the other way you want to be hooked up is what we call boondocking, or you don't have shore power, you're either in a Walmart parking lot, or you're in some BLM areas, or some area that you just don't have a hookup. In that case, you're using 12 volts, and you're using your batteries. And uh, in most cases, you'll have at least one battery, and, and a lot of these are outfitted with two batteries. So you're using most of your stuff, your lights work with that, and uh, but your plugs will not work in that 12 volt setup. So this is where this inverter kicks in. And we'll go over that now. If you're in that 12 volt system, and you're set up in the 12 volt, and you want to use some a few things, I've got a toaster sitting out here, and we'll go over that how that how that would work. One thing you need to understand is that when you're in the 12 volt setup and you're getting ready to use your inverter, as soon as you push this button, you're using a thousand watts off your batteries. So it's consuming. It's, it, you don't even have to have anything plugged in. But if you want to get power to these in outlets in the 12 volt setup, that's the only way you can do. You can plug that, turn that on, and as soon as you do, you can use these outlets up to a thousand watts. But what's the thing you want to know is that when you're doing that, if you're not even got anything plugged in and you're running that inverter, you're using a thousand watts at that point. So what you want to do is only turn that on when you need it. So here's an example of, of when you might need it. This, you want to make sure you don't overload that 1,000 watts. You want to check, check what the wattage is. On this particular toaster, it's 750 watts. So we can use this toaster. So what we want to do is you come in here and you're running the 12 volts. You've got a couple. Let's just go ahead and turn on a few lights. Got our lights on. We're off 12 volts. And now we want to use this toaster. So when you want to use that inverter is now, you want to basically come over here. You want to click it on. You might hear that fan kick on in it. You're cooking right now. Now you're now you're you can see your plug just my plug just flashed, so it's actually running. So you can use this toaster now. As soon as you're done toasting your toast, you want to go right back over here and turn this off again. So that's why you want to do you only want to turn that on when you're using those plugs. You don't want to leave it on constantly because it'll run that battery down. That's what that's for. Your inverters for using things that you need to use. And as soon as you're done, make sure you turn that off. Another thing you want to be aware of is where that inverter is located. In the FD model, it's the, the front driver's side compartment. There's some of them with the other models where they're underneath the uh, bed. But know where that inverter is. And I'll show you here. There's a picture. And I'll show you here where that actual reset button is. And that reset button is if you put something on there too big and it's overloaded, you're using the hair dryer and it's worried at 12,000 watts, it's going to kick that off. So to turn that on, this is how you hit that reset button. And you got to find out where that's located. So that's pretty much all I have on the inverter. There's a lot of other things involved in it. But that's just the basics. How to, when to use it, when not to use it. And, uh... I hope that clarifies a few things. Again, only use that if you're using your 12 volt, I mean you're you're in 12 volt setup and you're using your 110 plugs. But if you're in shore power, there's no reason for that to be on. So I hope that clarifies it again. And if you have any other comments or questions, put them in the comments. And we'll see you on the next video.